Hello students of grade 9, we will do exercise 10.4, circles. Uh, question number 1, two circles of radii 5 cm and 3 cm intersect at two point and the distance between the center, suppose this is the center of one circle and this is the center of other circle, distance is given as 4, this distance is given as 4, so two circle intersect at AB. AP is 5, the radius of the big one circle is 5 cm and the radius of the other circle is 3 cm. And the distance between the center is 4. So if I take this one as x, this will be 4 minus x because total distance is 4. From P to Q is 4. So this will be, if I take this x, this will be 4 minus x. And if I this take this y, this also will be y because perpendicular from the center bisect the chord. So first we'll get the relation. First take an in triangle AMQ. Use Pythagoras theorem. The square of the other two sides equal to the hypotenuse. I'll do directly. X square plus Y square equal to hypotenuse is 3 square. So X square plus Y square is 9. Mark this as 1. Clear? Next, in triangle AMP, this square plus this square, that means uh, square of the other two sides, this 4 minus x square plus y square is hypotenuse square, 5 square. I'm doing directly, okay? The square of the other two sides equal to the square of the hypotenuse, as per Pythagoras theorem. So, use the formula here, A minus B all square a square minus 2ab plus b square and y square is already there so this is 16 minus 2 4 is 8x plus c x square plus y square together is 9 so in place of x square plus y square we can put 9 so minus 8x plus 25 equal to 25 so minus 8x equal to 25 minus 25 minus 8x is 0. So x will be 0. If x is 0, put the value in equation 1. Equation 1 is x squared plus y squared equal to 9. So x is 0. So if it is 0 not to do anything, 0 plus y squared will be zero, y squared only. So what's the value of y? root 9 that is 3 so since we got the value of y we can find the find the length of the chord ab is 2y so therefore ab equal to 2y that is 2 into 3 6 centimeter is the final answer you can pause the video to write the solution let's go to question number two If two equal chords of a circle intersect within the circle, there are two equal chords, they are intersect within the circle, inside the circle. Suppose they insert, intersect at P. What we are going to prove? Prove that the segment of one chord are equal to the corresponding segment of the other chord. We are going to prove that the cutting part, this equal to this, and BP equal to DP. So I have written given and to prove also. Given chord AB and CD intersect at P, a and the chord are equal, A, B, and C, D are equal. To prove A, P equal to C, P, and B, P equal to D, P. Construction, drawn perpendicular line here. O, M perpendicular to A, B. O, N perpendicular to C, D. Now let us prove. We can say that A, M, equal to bm and cn equal to dn reason is perpendicular from the center perpendicular from the center bisect 
the chord perpendicular from the center bisect the chord is the reason okay now we know that a b and c d are equal it's given if i take half half a b and half c d both we're multiplying by so half of a b can be a m or half of a b can be b m and half of cd can be cn equal to half of cd can be dn so whatever are the possible things we're just writing out okay now i half of AB can be am or bm half of cd can be cn or dn okay now what we'll do just to make it easy, we'll mark this point as C. Half of AB, since all the these four parts are equal, I can write AM equal to CN. Mark this as equal, equation 1. AM equal to CN and BM equal to DN. Clear? Mark this as 2. Now we'll take this small triangle and we'll try to prove congruent. In triangle PMO and triangle PNO. So in these two triangles, what is the same? These two will be same because equal chords are equal distance from the center. If the chords are equal from the center, they will be at the same distance. So we can write OM equal to ON. Reason is equal chord are equidistance from distance from the center second point op equal to op in both triangle op is there so op equal to op common side And angle PMO will be equal to PNO. Reason is each 90. Angle PMO equal to angle PNO. Each 90. So whatever triangle we have taken is congruent. Triangle PMO is congruent to triangle PNO. Reason is RHS rule. We are using uh, right angle. We are using hypotenuse in one of the sides. So RHS rule. Now, if the triangle is congruent, these two sides will be same. PM will be equal to PN. You can write PM equal to PN. CPCT. Mark this as 3. Now, let us try to prove this and this. So, when I take equation 1 and minus equation 3, we'll get the answer. Okay, see. Equation 1 minus equation 3 implies I'll minus left left AM minus am minus pm and cn minus what you'll get see the diagram am minus pm from am if i minus pm what i'll get remaining will be ap so am minus cm is ap and cn minus pn see the diagram from cn if i minus pn i'll get cp first proof is done now to the second to do the second proof we add two and three two plus three equation two plus three so we'll add left left bm plus pm and we'll add right right dn plus pn so see the diagram now bm plus pm if bm and pm is added i'll get these lines that is bp and if I add DN and PN, it will become DP. So BP equal to DP. Hence proof. You can pause the video to write the proof. Thank you.